Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos. Right now, we are going to pray one of the most important prayers in our lives. This is a curse breaking. Curse breaking is a way to retake ground from the enemy. It's a way for us to shut doors to Satan and his demons and to remove all ground that they claim to have in our lives because of the sins of our ancestors that we inherited and also our own sins. So I'm going to ask you right now to repeat after me as we pray this prayer. I'm going to be reading the prayer. And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to be in a hurry. Okay? And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. If you don't understand certain words, don't worry about it. Now also make sure you play this prayer more often. It doesn't hurt to play this prayer a few times. Okay? Just to make sure all doors are shut to the enemy. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started right now by pray a prayer for protection all right so repeat after me please say heavenly father i ask you to forgive me of all my sins i have committed against you and against those made in your image lord i ask you that your angels surround myself and my family members and protect us according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 7 which says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them I now declare Isaiah 54 17 no weapon formed against me and my family shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Continue repeating after me, okay? Until we are finished with this prayer. Say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as it relates to me and my family, I bind all Satan's evil spirits, occult spirits, spirits of sin, spirits of trauma, familiar spirits, demonic forces, satanic powers, principalities, attributes, aspects, clusters, endowments, and satanic thrones. I bind all kings and princes of terrors. I bind all demonic assignments and functions of destruction. From any demonic entities, from outer space, the air, water, fire, the ground, the nether world, and the evil forces of nature. I bind all interplay, interaction, communication, and their games between satanic and demonic spirits out of and away from our spirits minds bodies and souls in the name of the lord jesus christ i sever all demonic spirits from any demonic ruler above these demonic spirits i revoke any orders given to any of these demonic spirits and demonic forces concerning me and my family. I bind all demonic entities under the one and highest authority. I loose you, evil spirits, from us now. I lose you to where Jesus Christ sends you, your assignments and influences in our lives are broken now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare broken and destroyed all spells, hexes, vexes, curses, voodoo practices, witchcraft, occult, Masonic and Satanic rituals, Masonic and Satanic blood covenants, Masonic and Satanic blood sacrifices, demonic activities, evil wishes, coven rituals, all occult, Islamic and coven fasting prayers, and curse like judgments that have been sent our way and have been passed down through my family generational bloodline. I lose them to where Jesus Christ sends them. I ask forgiveness for and renounce all negative inner vows made by myself. I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you release us from these vows and from any bondage they may have held us in. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, do not remember the iniquities of our forefathers against us. Psalms, Psalm 79, verse 8. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, I take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and cut myself and my family members free from all generational inherited sins, wickednesses, character defects, personality traits, wickedness, weakness, cellular, cellular disorders, genetic disorders, learned negative intervals, and spiritual and psychological ties. I cut all bonds that are not of the Lord and put the blood of Jesus Christ between us. I cut all bonds of the relationships of each one of us that are not of the Lord back to the beginning of time and all present and future generations by the sword of the Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ I say that we are cut free and we are free indeed we are now free to become the children of God as the Lord intended us to be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the authority of God's Word and the shed blood of Jesus Christ as it relates to me and my family I bind all evil spirits of pride judgment rebellion defiance unforgiveness envy impatience, resentment, vanity, coveting, selfishness, idolatry, hotness, mockery, disobedience, arrogance, hypocrisy, denial, disbelief, guilt, shame, confusion, doubt, self-hatred, poor self-image, rejection, persecution, prejudice, possessiveness, anger, hatred, fear, timidity, passivity, control, unbelief, 
jealousy, division, disunity, distrust, deception, dishonesty, destruction, vengeance, hyperactivity, competitiveness, accusation, torment, procrastination, stubbornness, strife, criticism, manipulation, materialism, betrayal, gossip, greed, poverty, revenge, adultery, divorce, separation, hypochondria, infirmity, sickness, disease, hormonal disorders, or dysfunction, fatigue, anorexia, bulimia, depression, oppression, suicide, schizophrenia, worry, anxiety, sleeplessness, ADD, ADHD, bipolar disorder, nervousness, withdrawal, loneliness, isolation, ostracism, negativity, and all addictive spirits of gluttony, perfection, alcoholism, nicotine, excessive spending, excessive shopping, gambling, frenzy, drug abuse, self-abuse, yoga, transcendental meditation, sexual addictions, sexual perversions, seduction, pornography, masturbation, lust, fornication, incest, lesbianism, homophobia, pedophilia, homosexuality, bisexuality, sexual inadequacies, frigidity, impotency, impotence, fear of sex, hatred of men, hatred of women, sexual impurities, immorality, abortion, promiscuity, familiar spirits, murder, evil games, death, dumb, blind, mute, and sleeping unclean spirits, new age spirits, cult spirits, seducing, seducing, and enticing spirits, and any occult spirits, and death in all of us. I lose them to where Jesus Christ sends them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I declare broken and destroyed any aggression, attempts of the enemy to penetrate, curses resulting in the destruction of the mind, behavioral perversion, blasphemies, enchantments, incantations, sorceries, communication with dark spirits, consulting with the dead, condemnation, control, curses affecting the household, curses associated with utterances, Curses from any demonic avenues and doors that have been opened. Curses from generational lines coming down from both the father and the mother's family lines. Curses from the womb. Cursing another. Deceptions of all types. Delusions. Demonic attack. Demonic condemnation, covenants, depression, 
destruction of all types, destruction of finances, destruction of marriage, destruction of family, destruction of the body, mutilation of the body, distractions, donors of mind, dysfunctionality, adverse effects, side effects, and stings, every idle word spoken contrary to God's original plans and purposes, evil allegiances, evil cords, poison, condemnation, demonic condemnation, evil condemnation, evil contracts, evil devices, evil forces and powers, hindrances, evil imaginations, evil influences passed down socially, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, sexually, inherited, or any other channel unknown to me, conscious or unconscious evil alliances, evil interplay, manifestations, evil or wrong perceptions, and evil thoughts concerning us, our families, work, and ministries, which we are to accomplish, evil principalities, evil spirits of inheritances, and curses, evil spirits that follow, evil strongholds, evil wishes, false anointings and impartations, trauma, false prophecies prophesied, family perversion, financial perversion, futility of the mind, ill-spoken words, ill wishes, illusions, Influences or stings, interaction with darkness, lies, manipulation, mind control, negative feelings, neutralizing effects, bad habits, nullifying effects of wrong words and the enemy, occultic ties, oppression, pain, perverse speech, thoughts, evil plans, evil thoughts, perversion, poverty, powers and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, proclivities and captivities that are contrary to, opposes, or hinder God's will and destiny for our lives. Religious perversion, satanic and demonic alliances, schemes of the enemy and wicked people, self-condemnation, sexual perversion, spiritual perversion, evil systems of people or the enemy, terrorism, twistedness of the mind, unconscious associations, or covenants with darkness, undue hardship, undue pressures, ungodly soul ties, unjust soul bonds, unjust soul ties, unjust ties, unjust bonds, unrighteous agreements that I have entered into, vain thoughts, wiles of the devil, witchcraft prayers, witchcraft spells, demonic spells, evil spells, satanic spells, works of the devil, wrong and worldly traditional religious thinking, wrong mindsets and thinking patterns. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that you release the fullness of your Holy Spirit to flood the places vacated by the darkness in our minds, bodies, and souls. Please fill us with your perfect love, joy, peace, 
truth, power, charity, humility, forgiveness, faithfulness, goodness, kindness, wholeness, wellness, health, trust, self-control, a good self-image, discipline, obedience, a sound mind, prosperity, order, relinquishment, acceptance of ourselves and others, free us from all fear, guilt, shame, and all addictions, and fill us to overflowing with the light and life of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, that you will awaken our sleeping spirits and bring us into the light. Thank you, Lord, that you will transform us by the renewing of our minds daily in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you will pour out your spirit on us and reveal your word to us. Thank you, Lord, that you will give your angels charge over us in all our ways. Psalm 91. Thank you, Lord, that we believe in you and from our innermost beings shall flow rivers of living waters. Thank you, Lord, that you will direct our hearts into the love of God and the steadfast of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, amen. Now friends, this prayer is for you and your family, okay? Because some of the curses we inherited from our ancestors and some of the curses that we brought upon ourselves will pass on to our gen future generations if it's not broken. So that's why this prayer is for you and your family. Now, it doesn't hurt to pray this prayer again. And I apologize. I, you know, my, my English is my second language. So there, there's probably a couple of words here that I probably didn't pronounce correctly. But don't worry. The Holy Spirit knows what you need. Okay? So this is a very powerful curse breaking. It's more like, a, you know done in a personal level because you are being interacted in the prayer. Amen? So um, our website is up here, brothercardus.org, also brothercardus.com. God bless you now, friends. Let me pray a final prayer. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in my friends, body, mind, soul, and spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye now.